Today in Review This Thing, I'm going to bring you a field test of the Burris Oracle 2 Laser Rangefinding Bosa. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. I have decided to resume a journey to potentially going back to bow hunting. Definitely going to be shooting a bow a lot. I went ahead and picked up this Matthews Lift 29.5. We may have a review coming, so you may want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that. The big thing I wanted to test out was this Burris Oracle 2. It has a laser rangefinder in it. Once you get it all set up, all you're supposed to have to do is click the button, it ranges your target for you, and then it moves the dot and puts it exactly where you need to aim. So that is what we're going to test out. Just so you know, we are not experts on this. Burris did send this over for us to test out. I'm pretty rusty, so hopefully this isn't going to take too long. So the first step to this whole process is getting that sight zeroed in at 20 yards. We're going to adjust it based on the top two and go up into the left some and then shoot it again and see how close we are. They do say in the instructions you want to make sure it's as exact as possible at 20 so that the further out you get it'll be closer to perfect. Ugh. I'm getting tired. Took a little break. Hopefully these will be better. There we go. So it looks pretty good when I had the shots I felt steady and not tired on. So we're not going to move it again yet. But the next step is to aim the laser. Since now we need to take this cap off. Oh, and don't lose it. Got it. Next you take this laser pointer and screw it in that spot. And there's your laser. So now we aim and see where it is. Looks like we're a little low and to the right. You use a screwdriver. Let's go left. Let's go like four clicks. And let's go up seven clicks. Those are just arbitrary. I don't really know if there's a proper amount to adjust it, but we'll start there and see. All right, gonna go back to the right a little bit and up a little bit more. One click, right. Two clicks up. Uh, up and down is good. Go over to the right. I believe that's good. Laser is sighted in. So apparently if I kept reading the directions, it says that it moves about a half inch per click at 20 yards. Day two. But the next step is to calibrate the range finder itself. Come back a distance at least 10 yards from your 20. So we're at 30 yards. According to the directions, we hit the mode button, which is the M. This bow will allow you to do two arrow setup versions. So we're just going to hit the S for save. So SR1 is our first distance back from that 20. First, we're going to range it just to confirm our distance. Then we're going to shoot the dot that lights up. I'm shooting at the top middle. Obviously, it's shooting a little bit lower, which makes sense. I'm only pulling like 47 pounds, so it's not going to shoot as high at 30 as maybe somebody, well, as anybody shooting 50, 60, 70 pounds. So we're going to hit the down arrow. We're going to move it four clicks. The blinky dot is where it was, and that's where I just moved it to. Yeah. I dropped on that one. Up and down is good. I'm getting tired again. I got to get used to this again. So it's shooting high, so I'm going to move up one click. So we got it ranged at 30. I'm going to, I've shot it several times. Two, three. Four. So I know that that is my 30 yard mark. So then we hit save and it goes to SR2, which is our second distance, which has to be at least 10 yards further. We're set up at 40 yards. Go back up, it says 39. There we go, 40. Okay, using the dot it gives me, top middle. Huh, so maybe it's a little bit high, huh? 
So we're gonna go up one. I'm oh, shooting pretty right. We'll worry about that later. I don't know if I need to move the side or if I just need to shoot better. <laughs> I feel like I probably just need to shoot better. That's way high, isn't it? Did I go the wrong way? I'm gonna go up one more. I think I was aiming with the flashy one last time. So I think I wasn't aiming and then I moved it. So I'm gonna go, I moved it back to where it was a second ago and I'm gonna shoot it again and make sure I'm not aiming at the flashing one. Why do I keep shooting weird? This one's gonna be a good one. I'm afraid if I move it again, it's gonna be too low. I mean, I can move it again. I'm gonna try. See, that's too much. There we go. Pretty good with that with my 40. So we're going to hit save. And then SR3, you can do more, but you don't have to do more, they say. So we're just gonna hit save. Same thing with SR4. In theory, we are now programmed. Not happy with the shooting right. So we're gonna scooch up a little bit, see if we can't get that zeroed in the next step, the live test. If this here Burris Oracle 2 works like it's supposed to, I should be able to be dead on at pretty much any range. I'm supposed to be able to go like 80 to 100 yards, but with the speed of my arrow, it may not be quite that far. We shall see. Okay, it is testing day. I've gone through the process that we showed you a couple times. Pretty sure we got it where we want it. Before we do that, I wanted to show you what I've been shooting with. So this is the Matthews Lift 29.5, an Apex Gear Overtaker Limb Driven Rest, an Apex Gear End Game, I believe it is, Carbon Stabilizer. There's a dual one, so I could have another one going back, but for now we're just sticking with that. And I've been shooting some Easton Axis arrows, but we're getting ready to do some work with some Carbon Express. So you may want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that. Oh, and I am using this True Fire Edge foldback release. I am still very new in learning, so I likely am going to make mistakes. If you are a good shot, bear with me. When I click this button, the range is gonna show up here and then the dot will move to the appropriate distance. I'm gonna do that on this one so you can see it, but then after that, you won't have to see all the rest of it. Okay. All of these shots, I'm gonna aim at the top middle. Good deal, an inch or two high. I'm always allowing for my mistakes. Shot two, so it's 35. Looks like that one was a little high. Also, sadly, I feel like I'm doing a better job today of not dropping my arm. So if these are hitting pretty close to the same spot, then we'll know that it's just me. We're gonna move back a little further. Let's just kind of find a spot and go. 45. I don't know where that hit. I definitely felt like I pulled left. <laughs> this could be really bad. I'm gonna back way far up here to the road. <laughs> Uh, don't make fun of me if this is terrible. 55. I have no idea where that hit. Let's go see. So here's the cool thing. You can see they're all high, but they're all the same amount of high, basically. What this tells me is I need to just shoot some more, maybe go through that process again, recite my 20 until it's exactly where it needs to be. That's pretty impressive. I have not, like I said, haven't shot it past 40 yards, and at 55, other than pulling left, it was pretty well even with the rest of them. Now we're gonna get on the porch and shoot at an angle to see if that angle compensation works. Robbie has our first target up. I have no idea where. Well, I know where, just not how close. It says 16, top middle. Pretty good. 23, 22. I dropped that one pretty bad. Let me do one more. That looks more like it. He's got me close on this one. I like that because it seems like a lot of times close is where you can make mistakes. Nine. That was a little low too. Oh wait, never mind. That's good. I thought I missed. Just kidding. Moving on. Such a great production assistant. A little further out. So that was a really good one too. That's pretty good, huh? 
her on the porch. Try top middle. Hopefully I won't hit anything. This is the furthest I can get it off my porch in the yard. We'll see how that goes. 42? That's pretty good, I think. So there is our Burris Oracle 2 laser range finding bow sight test. I have to say that I am pretty impressed with it. I think a lot of the variations are just, you got to practice with it, get it zeroed in exactly where you want it, especially for a new shooter who's still kind of getting my form down and, and making tons of mistakes to be pretty consistently at that same height. I'm pretty pleased with it. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment and tell us what you think about it, especially if you have one of these. And if you really like what we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell. We got a lot more videos coming on this setup, but as always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Burris Oracle 2 range test. While you're here, make sure you like it, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about us, head to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, and subscribe to our newsletter and go shopping. Also, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, X, 